What this does is I'm gonna put it around your arms and it's gonna trick your brain into thinking you're working out harder than you really are. It takes an hour workout down to about 17 minutes. Ah! The bands make it extremely hard, so. <laughs> Big ball is back, baby! Teach me how to shoot. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh yeah, that's how quick it is. Oh, you're gonna be a cowboy in eight after this. Look out. Yeah, I'm learning. House guest, let's get it. This is dangerous. I'm over here looking for my guy, Alex. Mr. Alex Fine's crib. Get a nice little workout. We up in Malibu, California, guys. And we about to pull up. Hi, what's How up, baby? Going? How you doing, bro? Thanks for having me, bro. Sorry about all the strollers. Hey, man. There. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Thank I see you. you. Daddy, huh? you like Very it? new. Week today. Oh, wow. Nice, man. Congratulations, man. A little sleep, but it's been awesome. You find yourself just always just looking at her and just, you know, oh. Oh, oh, man. The first couple nights, though, I was up the whole time, just like touching making, her, yeah, making, making sure she's up. I was like, right. I was freaking out. I was like, she's so like calm and peaceful that I was like touching her and make sure she was breathing. I was like, all right. But that was like just paranoia. Just like yeah, looking nah, at her, I was like, like that something too. this tiny. I had to, that was, a, I think that was the first time when I had my first, you know, my, my first kid, I had to learn how to be quiet, and that was hard for me because I'm such yeah. a loud person. So I'm playing my video games, or I'm watching yeah. a movie or a football game, and I'm yeah, you gotta be quiet. Like, oh, she's already been through NFL Red Zone. <laughs> right? Like all that wow. already. This view, let's yeah, talk that's about crazy. This. So this is the ice bath. Oh, this is where you come cool down at, huh? Yeah, I got a big tub because the offensive line were too big for it. They kept splashing everything. So, <laughs> and getting it all everywhere. so I had to get the eight foot tub. And then out here, it's a little bit of high tide right now. Yeah. But when it goes down, we usually do sand beach workouts. We'll go chill at the beach after getting the water. And you'll usually see like four or five sea lions, yeah. the same ones here every day. Oh, wow. So tell me about your football career. I heard you played a little football. I played football at Central Michigan. That's where AB, A -B, JJ, JJ Watt. Watt. My roommate for a semester was Eric Fisher. You got some nice little, yeah, we some had nice a, little kid. We had a team. Here. We won Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. Shittiest bowl besides the Idaho Potato Bowl. Nah, talking about what well, some bowl. I, I played in the Sun Bowl in college. Yeah, it's not that. Some bowl wasn't that fun like that either. Little Caesars Pizza Bowl? Like, no one wants to say they won, like, Little the Caesar's. little, like. <laughs> I wouldn't care what bowl. You know, it could be the gone fishing bowl. As long as we win, we lost our bowl. Our hot. bowl ring literally says Little Caesars Pizza on the <laughs> ring. I've like been it. rocking that we won. Yeah. I'm rocking that. <laughs> we just started the run. Randy's escorting me through Compton. So I heard you did a 50 mile marathon. Okay, so tell me about that. So I ran, I just made a bold call and I was like, I'll run 50 miles for charity from Compton to Malibu. So I didn't really train for it since I hate running so much. When you walk across the finish line, what you doing? To oh, I, so I broke my right ankle and tore my left hip on like mile 17 out of 50. So I was running like, <laughs> Literally like a, a toddler, just like with my head trying to go forward <laughs> for 30 miles. I didn't eat before the marathon because- Cause, I, Cause you heard that, I heard that you shit your pants cause your body just breaks down and you just shit yourself. That's what I heard before I, <laughs> someone told me that before I was gonna run. So I didn't eat for 36 hours. So I went completely dry. I didn't drink a lot of water. I didn't, cause I knew I was gonna finish it if I broke something, tore something. But if I shit my pants in front of my like newly wife's family, <laughs> I was like, I'm done. Like, I'm fucking done. It's time to get that work done. All right, 
So we're gonna do about five or six things and okay. we'll do a couple rounds so you get a taste of what it is. Hold on, I gotta put something on you first. You're gonna kill me. I may or may not have taken from the Olympic Training Center, borrowed it. <laughs> and just kept it forever? And kept it forever. Wow. So it's called a katsu, it's from Japan. What this does is I'm gonna put it around your arms and it's gonna trick your brain into thinking you're working out harder than you really are. Okay. It's gonna pump you up real quick. Let's get it. So it takes an hour workout down to about 17 minutes. Oh wow. It's gonna get real uncomfortable. It's gonna feel like the, like the SpongeBob arm thing where you're blowing up your arms. <laughs> so question, how did you get into training? Like how did you get to become So a, funny a thing is, is I had a shoulder surgery in football and I came out to, I think Long Beach to get rehab done in the summer. And I was at this gym and this guy was like, if you're out here, you might as well earn some money and, and work with me. And it was this guy named C.T. Fletcher. So I came back, interned with him again the next summer. And then my senior year, after I was done with football, I came out here and interned for uh, a couple people. Spent a year doing that and then uh, started my own thing. And now we're here. Now we're here. So who's your first major client? For sports, it was Justin Pugh and Odell. Entertainment-wise, it was Jennifer Aniston, but everything has just been through word of mouth. Oh, so, wow. all right, you ready? <sighs> nice. How many did you say? I said around 10. Shit. Yeah, you might do around six with the katsu on. So go down, come up, and yeah. <laughs> I don't count. That's one of my. Th <laughs> it's one of my things. I believe you if you say it. So now we're going to do pull-ups. This is where you're really going to feel it. It's going to be five wide grip. Then you're going five close, five underhand. You can drop in between. There we go. Uh, whoa. I'll just shake that shit. <laughs> there you go. Try to strike your foot at the top of the treadmill. Oh shit. <laughs> so I know your daughter, she's gonna be running a 4-2 by the time she's five. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Her if mom tell anything like that. Her mom gonna thinks right. she's gonna be a girly girl. I don't know. I think she's gonna be pretty I'm gonna athletic. You, I'm gonna tell you from being a father and having a daughter is that your daughter's gonna wanna be just like you, bro. Cause my daughter hoops, she wants to work out. Yeah. She don't complain, she just, I want, she wants to do everything dad does. Having boys, they get to a certain age and they just be like, oh dad, I'm just too cool for you now. My daughter That's what I heard, shows yeah. so much love all the time, bro, it's, it's crazy. And I saw one of your buddies challenge you and saying that you can be a professional athlete. Which which one of your friends was it? So it was actually this guy right here. His name's Justin Pugh. He's a offense alignment on the Arizona Cardinals. I was like, I bet you I could be a pro athlete in less than a year. And he was like, all right, whatever. We bet 500 bucks on it. I came home and bull riding, you needed to win like around $1,000 in rodeo winnings to get your pro card. So I uh, drove up to a ranch the night that I got home and um, I hopped in bulls the next morning. I did pretty well. Did you break any bones? I broke my face twice on the front of the bull. Um, it dented the whole helmet. Super concussed. Was driving away. Wrecked my car completely. Broke more bones in my face. I had a crushed muscle. I had a twisted pelvis. Tore my shoulder and my bicep tendon twice, chipped my tooth with a cross necklace. So you just, you just like pain. You just like breaking shit. It wasn't, it was just like, <laughs> it was just bro, like, you, bro, have, after you that, never want to end on a bad ride. Man, so you go bro, back. Bro, the first, first of all, you just said you crushed your helmet and broke your face. That, I, I'm done. Bro, oh, my $500, I would have sent my $500 cash app to my homie is that fast. Like, bro, you, you right. All right, you ready to do these abs? No, but yes. All right. And yes, but no. The first thing we got is leg lifts. <laughs> ready? Everything's 30 seconds. Go. Get 
Get your right foot up in the air, yeah. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. are you sure that's not five minutes already? <laughs> All right, last one. Oh. Good work today. That was just a little bit of a taste. We usually go for around an hour and a half and then chill in the seats. Use Norma Tech, go down to the beach afterwards. Uh, well, listen, this summer, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna spend a week here. All I need is work out with you. All I need is around like 10 to 12 days. No posting, nothing, no one can see you. And then you just come out fucking I'm easily. Yeah. Yep, let's do it. That's all I need. I appreciate 10 to 12 it. Days. Oh, was that a fucking shark? That was a shark or a dolphin or some shit. No, no bullshit. That was Dolphins a dolphin. Are here every day, I yeah. swear, that was a dolphin that just hopped out the water and went back in. I promise. Oh, I believe you. Well, that's crazy. Oh, there look, it is. I told you. Look, <laughs> you got the cameras. Why not? We gotta get the cameras on this one, bro. There's a yeah. dolphin in the water, bro. I'm not getting in the water. <laughs>